environment is a really big subject to cover in depth. So here I will only do an overview of things to look for and check on before a flight. And I will probably make more detailed videos on each of those items separately. As pilot in command, you are responsible for gathering all available information before a flight, per 91103. Always check on the current and forecasted weather condition at all airports you are planning to fly to, your alternates, and along your route of flight. Items to check on include METARs, TAFs, and if applicable, airmets, SIGMITs, convective SIGMITs, and PIREPs. Those will give you information such as wind velocity, temperature, sky coverage, visibility, and possible adverse meteorological conditions. I will link FAA-funded websites to get you weather information from in the description below. And you can always call 1-800-X-BRIEF to get a weather briefing from someone who, let's face it, knows a ton more about weather than the average private pilot. You should also familiarize yourself with each airfield's basic information, such as, amongst other things, runway's length, orientation and slope, field elevation, condition of flight, meaning day or night, and therefore airport lighting, pattern altitude, terrain slash airspace, radio frequencies, arrival and departure procedures, VFR reporting points, and more important than anything else, always check the NOTAMs before flight, and if there are any TFRs active along your route of flight. Again, I will go into much more details on those in my flight planning videos. Now, let's talk about external pressure. Click on this link to access that video.